All right, so when you start as a production assistant at ESPN, you got your picture taken. Yeah. What, what's that kid thinking right there? Uh, well, because I interned, I'm back. Yeah. And I'm happy to be back. I know a little bit of what I've got done myself into. Yeah. But, uh... So, intern, there's intern Manny. There, yeah. And that, you got the flow in that one. Like, I'm not sure... That's a little creepy to like, me. This yeah. is this is college student? There's no doubt, yes. Here's what bothers me, though, Manny, is that... All right, so here's my picture. And I weigh <laughs> twice as much now as I did then, and I have a beard, and you look exactly the same. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what it is that you're doing. A lot more miles on that car, I can assure you. Now we're going to toss it back and wrap up some more college football with a sports night, college football edition. Couple of updates for you. First, Tennessee and Florida. Florida trying to make a game of it. All right, so uh, welcome home, right? Yeah. <laughs> not, not quite how I remember it, but uh, it brings back so many memories of a great time in our lives. We all, I guess, look back on our glory days and they were better than all the other days, but there was something about being here at that time, wasn't there? What you're not aware of at the time is, is the education you're getting. And not just about how to produce a highlight or you know make good TV. It was, it was just how to do something all the way right and how to do something to a high standard. Yeah. You say like in Stafford or way the heck back yeah. there, but you gotta be ready for some other games too, because okay. you might go from yeah. here to over there to over there. Right, I think I'm ready, you know, it's not brain surgery. I remember when the, the word starts getting out amongst all of us that you're quitting and you're going to coach football and we all were really excited for you, but we also thought you were a little bonkers. Yeah. Why? It's not a little bonkers, it was a lot bonkers. It was a lot, yeah, yeah. yeah. My easy excuse is Sterling Sharp. Okay. You know, Sterling was on the NFL shows at that time, and, and you know, there wasn't the army of analysts like ESPN has now, so we would get done with the Monday Night Countdown show and watch the game, and Sterling would always joke, he's like, I'm gonna get into coaching, and when I do, I'm gonna hire you, I'm gonna bring you with me. How about Manny Diaz? There's some class to head over there as the defensive coordinator and tell that quarterback you were a tough out. You didn't play college football. No, and my plan was so poor, I didn't even realize what I was up against. I didn't know how college football worked, I didn't know how the GA structure worked. I, I went and I eventually got an audience with Chuck Amato and at FSU. He was their assistant head coach at the time. And I said, I'll do anything. And Sterling called on my behalf. And, and basically, I was licking envelopes and, and mailing VHS tapes to high schools. And But it got me in the door. Amato has always said, you walked in the door with this knowledge of film and technology that I'm assuming you learned in Bristol. I did well. Most coaches couldn't turn a computer on, so like all of a sudden when I showed up, you know, I would say like in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I became the one-eyed man in terms yeah. of like computer knowledge, yeah. and so it, it, in a weird way, it gave me value yeah. in a room where, from from a football acumen standpoint, I would not have any value. Yeah. You just gotta commit. You gotta go all in. There it is. Oh! What an athlete! Finally gotta make this. Make him miss. Make him miss. Make him miss. As a production assistant, and so the folks understand, this is the entry-level job. Really, the foundation of the job was highlights. Right, for Sports Center. Yeah. You were judged by, could you perform under pressure? Because there was always this real time that if your highlight was showing on baseball tonight at 10.33 and 30 seconds, it had to be ready at 10.33 and 30 seconds. I think that was kind of a little bit of a juice that we all fed off of. Does that compare to being a head football coach? Well, similarly to the point of like, you have to be prepared to be able to spend three and a half hours of just in that intense now, yeah. where there's always a problem that needs to be solved, is kind of similar to when you're in screening on a crazy Saturday night and there's just, there's always a problem that needs to be solved. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.